Greetings from Bethel Memorial Baptist Church. I'm Pastor Brent. I hope that your Memorial Day weekend went well, that you remembered why we were celebrate Memorial Day, uh, the many people who have sacrificed for our country and what that means. I spent a lot of my time, my family was away uh, in Lancaster and I stayed home to get a number of things done. I just haven't been able to get done. And um, I, while I was doing those things, I was watching the war movies on Turner Classic movies and just seeing things that I never experienced. And sometimes Hollywood romanticizes but sometimes they get the, the right message coming across. One of the things that struck me was that at times of war, the importance of communication, the importance of people working together, uh, whether it was the, the, the group of men that were uh, serving in their front position or whether it was the communication lines with those in the rear, uh, everybody needed to, the better the communication, the better things went. So I thought about this first that, I uh, actually read on Friday of the uh, weekend, and it's kind of about spiritual warfare. So let me open in a word of prayer, and then we'll talk about this first. Father, I thank you. I thank you that you care for us in so many ways, and I thank you for how you've blessed our nation because of those who made the ultimate sacrifice that you brought us to a place where we would be free to worship you and uh, think of our founding fathers and then all the wars that have been fought since then. Uh, we don't like to think about war, but the realities of it are, are just be, uh, before us. And we thank you that when um, good triumphs over evil, that, that all are blessed by it. I thank you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, we think about spiritual warfare. We think about the armor of God. This is from Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. Uh, the helmet of salvation, that's where everything starts. When we come to know the Lord, we now have abilities to think uh, spiritually about spiritual things. And that makes righteousness possible. We put the breastplate of righteousness on to cover our hearts, to, to protect ourselves. Uh, all of this is connected to the belt of truth. We learn about salvation. We learn about righteousness from the truth of God's word. And then we use the God's word as a sword of the spirit. And then it's all brought together by faith that, that we can protect ourselves against the fiery darts of the enemy. And then also uh, feet protected by the gospel. It's great to hear the gospel preached. I saw a commercial just recently with uh, Franklin Grant, and I was remarking how his, his hair got longer in the back, and it reminded me a little bit more of his dad. Uh, it just they, they look alike anyway, but just thinking about hearing the gospel preached in the midst of a uh, watching news and other things where the news isn't good, it's good to hear the good news. So that's the armor of God, and that's very important. But the very next verse is the one that I want to focus on. Um, Ephesians 6, 18, the importance of prayer. Praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. This has got a lot to say to us. Phrase by phrase, praying at all times, reminds me of the importance of constant prayer. My prayers may not be weighty. My prayers may not always uh, know what I'm saying, but I'm going to constantly focus on the Lord in prayer, praying at all times. And the best way I can do that is in the Spirit, constantly communing, being in communion with the Holy Spirit, knowing that one of my words fail, he is praying with groans I can't even understand. He's praying for me. Jesus is my mediator, but the Holy Spirit prays as well. So the importance of constant prayer, constantly communing with the Holy Spirit with all prayer and supplication. When I saw those two words, I said, what's the difference? What are all the words that we can look for? There's a Greek word for ask. There's a Greek word for beg. But the Greek words for prayer and supplication are the general words that are about. Prayer is more of a general uh, attitude of prayer toward God, as we were saying, praying at all times in the Spirit. I'm in a relationship with God. I am praying. But su supplication has that word supply in. That's where I'm specifically asking for something. Sometimes I don't know what to specifically ask for. So I pray in general because God knows what I need even before I ask. So I love this summing up this first statement. The importance of constant prayer, constantly communing with the Holy Spirit in both general and specific prayer. That's a mouthful. Praying at all times of the Spirit 
with all prayer and supplication. That's the first half. Second half, to that end, keep alert. The importance of being alert. I ask tonight, why do you have to be alert? And one of the gentlemen who served in Vietnam said, because you don't know where the enemy is coming from. You have to be on the alert to know where the enemy is going to attack. And, and just knowing that. And we talked last week about being watchful, not just for the enemy, but being watchful for the things that God is doing. Um, you don't just talk to God in prayer, you listen. So you keep alert to, so that you can hear what the, the, the Lord is saying to you. Uh, so that end, keep alert with all perseverance, the importance of perseverance. Uh, I always think about the Garden of, uh, Garden of Gethsemane when the, when the disciples were just too tired and overwhelmed by the moment to, to, to just stay alert and persevere. Jesus said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We are weak, but we should seek to persevere. We should seek to keep the lines of communication with our master, with our Lord open. You never know when he might change things and, and we just need to be ready. And, and you never know when we need to reach out for a, a surprise at, during a surprise attack from the enemy. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, the importance of being alert, the importance of perseverance, and then making supplication for all the saints. I think about this most of all. When I watch these movies, it was the, the friendships and the, the esprit de corps, the, 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 the love that they had for one another, that they would go through things. Yes, they were fighting for people back home, but they were fighting for the guy next piece, right beside them. Um, there's one movie I watched where two guys carried uh, one of their uh, officers back on a stretcher through a, just a difficult trap. And they did it. The officer said, they didn't do this out of duty. They did this out of love. And, and to think about the, the, the connections we should, in our prayer, and our, especially our Wednesday night prayer meeting, we pray for others. We focus our prayer uh, on others knowing that other people are focusing their prayer on us. As a pastor, I hear it all the time. I pray for you every day, pastor. That is an awesome blessing. And I try to remember to pray for as many people on our prayer requests. And, and I guess this kind of sums up, we've had a season of prayer where the prayer requests seem to come in faster than we could send them out. Uh, just different people, different challenges. But the focus of our prayers, to keep alert and all perseverance, making supplication, for all the saints. There's one statement at the end of the devotional that I read on Friday that really sums this idea up. I love it. Until I know that life is war, I will not know what prayer is for. The more I know I'm in a battle, the more I know I need to communicate with my Lord. And one of the things else that I noticed about these movies, there were some times when the orders from above didn't make any sense. And you could tell that the people that were making these decisions did not have a good grasp of what was going on. That's never true for God. He knows exactly what we're going through. And we can listen for his voice. We can talk to him at all times. He won't say you're insubordinate. He will, he'll say, I love you, my child. This is what we're going through. So I, I pray that you would think about your life of prayer, that in all prayer and supplication, general and specific, that you are in the spirit, praying at all times, being alert, persevering, and remembering to pray for others. Father, I thank you. I thank you so much for this, this wonderful verse that is at the end of this wonderful spiritual armor that we study about. Help us to remember that spiritual armor can't be used unless we're in connection with the master, with the Lord. We can't, with our commanding officer, we need to be in communication with you. And we need to be aware of our need to pray for our buddies and those that are around us. Lord, I pray that you just give us that as a motivation for our prayer life. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.